Armors, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the new UI and the graphic look for Haiti that was changed uh, recently in the Spring 2023 update. And there has been a lot of fire going on in the community related to this new look of the game. A lot of people are hating it. Especially all the comments that I received, people are not liking this new version of the game. So, so this video is just going to be based on my honest opinions and why I think Hated did this and how I think this interface is different from the previous ones and uh, which one I like the better. So, um, I'm just going to get started. The first thing that I saw over here, Alfred um, left a package for me. So, um, hi, we had some minor issues. All right, I think we had a little maintenance today, and I just got 10 diamonds. That's really cool. So, you guys, we got our biggest update of the year. Okay, maybe not the biggest, because we don't know yet what's about to come, but we got a really big update yesterday, which was spring special. You guys know we got a new machine, and uh, we got these trees. Oh, are they ready? They look so beautiful. And um, if you notice, the colors of the game have been changed, all the icons have been changed, and everything just looks so, so different. Now, the first thing that I'm going to mention over here, you guys, is please take your time with this new screen, with this new version of the game. Because in one way, we do have to appreciate the game designers and the game developers, you know, that came up with this little idea to kind of modify and change the game. Haiti at this point is almost, I think, 11 years old, almost. Now, I don't know the real reason to why they would change the interface of the game, because I don't think I've seen a lot of games doing that. But maybe because Haiti at this point is like 11 years old almost, so they wanted to revamp some of the old looks. Maybe they wanted to kind of do like new coding or something. Those are all the explanations I can think about. Otherwise, I don't think anyone of us ever complained about the UI of this game. I mean, little changes are fine, but uh, this was a really big change. So I'm going to post a little picture on the screen right now in which you guys can see this is how your farm used to look before this update. And honestly, you guys, I, at this point, I prefer the old look of the game more. Okay, this is just my personal opinion. I'm not trying to dictate anything here. I'm not trying to um, say that this is better or worse. And if you like this new design, it's better. It's your own opinion. But I honestly prefer the old one. And I don't know what was so special about this old look. Um, it just felt more realistic, um, more rustic. And it just kind of matched with the whole Haiti theme. Um, but if you have a look at this new theme over here, especially uh, the change that I hated uh, is the fact that now our level is at the very left, which does look neat, but I don't know why. I just preferred when it was in the middle, you know, we were able to see clearly how many points I've collected and all that. And now it's just very little at the left-hand side. And apart from that, all these icons, they just look very cartoonish. Um, I don't know, more like a 2D animation. You know, Hades is very realistic, you guys. If you have a look at the um, farm visitors, if you have a look at the machines, everything looks really nice. The animation is at the peak. But with these new icons, something is just missing, you know? And the fact that they're so colorful, some people have been just getting really disturbed even by looking at them. And especially the fact that the colors of the neighborhood have been changed. And um, even the XP star has been changed. Some of it does look beautiful, especially I love the new screen versions over here. I mean, I know that they're colorful and they might not be really good for all the people, but I do like them. However, the fact that the level bar has been moved to the left and that we cannot see actually how many XP points we've collected the way we used to do before, that's something I don't really prefer. I'm not really a huge fan of these new icons. I would very much prefer the old look better, as I said. And even your friend's book is so bluish. I think it does need a little change because, first of all, you can't even differentiate between the people you're actually following or that are, like, normally in your friend's list. And secondly, it's just too much blue. Like, I don't know. It's just, um, I don't want to say this and I don't want to be rude, but it looks like someone vomited blue on my friend's bar. Like, that's just what I want to say. But again, guys, in no means I'm trying to hate on hated team or I'm trying to hate on this screen. This is just my personal opinion. I'm not saying that you need to go to Haiti social medias just to rant or just to say that they need to change it. You also have to understand that game developers and game designers don't do anything immediately. They have to wait uh, because what people do sometimes when they don't understand certain things, they act in a hurry. They're like, oh, we don't like this. Just change it, please. And I think this is what is going on in the community. A lot of people are not liking this new version. And even though I don't like it too, but I'm actually giving it some time because I know that's how things normally work. You have to give time. So you guys don't panic and don't act in a rush. Take your time. 
do all the things in a slow pace because the hater team is not really going to look at your immediate feedback because uh, because ninety percent of this feedback is just when people don't understand a certain thing um, in the beginning and they act like oh this is not good but this doesn't really show the long lasting effect of a certain thing so that's what I'm trying to say and um, also the fact that things have been changed like everything just looks so different I do like some of the colors and I like the fact that now we can actually. Uh, let me just send this boat away. I don't care about the puzzle piece. Um, you can also tap on the product and you can see how many of them you've stored in your barn. And you can actually tap on this arrow sign. It will take you immediately to your machine. Well, this is kind of crazy. Oh, this is funny. Anyways, um, the second thing that I wanted to talk about are the little features. Uh, for example, now our products, the ingredients are being shown in a list, which I don't which I personally don't like. I'm not, I personally don't like. I'm not sure if it's because I'm playing on a mobile screen and it's better on the iPads. But for me, I used to prefer how the products used to look before. Like, I don't like this little thing in the list one. This is just not my thing. And also the fact that I was talking about in my last video that now we have to tap on the ingredients and it will take us back to where we used to go. That's something I don't like too. I think it was too extra. Like, I don't even know why I would have to tap on the olives to go to the place where I need to go. I mean, I can simply uh, go to my olive tree myself because I know what's gonna happen now. I'm definitely gonna be tapping on all these ingredients by mistake. And it's just going to be so messy. So that's another thing that I don't like a lot. But again, I'm not hating on it. I know this can also have some positive effects. But for me personally, I'm not a big fan of this um, change. And apart from that, you guys also noticed that the XP animation has been changed. Um, it looks more blue, which was cool. I did like it. I do like the screens of our trucks. I think that's very colorful. It's again, very cartoonish, but that doesn't really bother me, to be honest. Um, but I don't really like the way they've put the levels to the left. I mean, I know why they've done it, uh, to make it more neat, to make it more soft of a corner, but I just prefer the old one, you guys. I don't know. Maybe it's because it was nostalgic for me, like I've been playing this game for a long time. Maybe that could be one of the reasons, but honestly speaking, I'm just not a huge fan of uh, these icons right now. They really look like cartoonish and more like 2D animation. It just looks like another company has made a copy of Hated Game. And another one of the changes that this update has brought is that once you actually ask for help, let me see. Um, you can just simply do this by one tap reviving. You'll see that some of the colors are too bright, and a lot of the comments that I've been getting are also referring to how bright the colors are and how they're disturbing people. So I don't know what to think on this. For me, this hasn't been an issue, but I can understand for some people who might have problems with that. So, um, I do agree that the colors are now more brighter. It all just looks very radiant and very shiny, like, I don't know why. But um, it doesn't give me the farming feeling that it used to give me before. Um, and the same with the town. The icons are very cartoonish. Um, I do like the repetition bar over here. I think it's kind of cute. The little hard. But again, I don't like the way it actually is. I just prefer the old style more. That's the fact that I'm talking about. And I don't know why Haiti would change it. I don't get any logical reason. Maybe it's just because that Haiti is really old at this point, like almost 11 years. So like they really wanted to do it. Okay, so you saw that I just um, tapped for one time and it revived my um, bush. So you don't have to really do it twice now. And uh, there were some more changes. What about the tickets? There's been a lot of issues going on with the tickets. So we're just gonna... Oh, that's weird. Just um, one reward. Do I have any daily rewards? Okay, we're just going to claim my mallet there. And uh, yeah, we talked about the products and how the ingredients look now. This is just so messy. I really hope that they change it. I'm just not a fan of this. You guys, I am really not a fan of this. I hated this change, especially the way ingredients are put in a list. Mm, I don't like it. And um, I think other than that, it's pretty much the same. Uh, Gameplay-wise, this game is the same, so if you still want to enjoy this, which I'm sure everyone will do, I'm not really saying you guys to quit the game, uh, because that's obviously a very absurd reason. All I'm trying to say is that please take your time. The game team is not really going to do anything at this point. They've made this change with a lot of hard work, so it's not like that they're going to convert it back to the old version, and I'm not even sure if that's really going to happen, because a lot of people at this point are just giving the feedback, being in a state of panic. So you just have to take your time, enjoy your game, and and I'm sure that a few days later you will feel pretty normal and um, everything will be fine. But for me personally, I don't like this version as much as I used to do the old one. 
So I don't really care if they don't change it because I know I'm actually going to get used to it. So for me, it's not really a huge issue, but I just wanted to talk about these uh, little new features. Some of them are really helpful, but most of them to me are just very extra. And especially the icons, they look very cool. They're like very flowery and cartoonish, but they just don't fit in my dictionary of a farming game. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. I think I've already received so many comments since this morning. People have been renting, people have been complaining like crazy about this new version. Um, so I would just say that please be patient, enjoy your game. It's not a big deal. Focus on your animals, take care of them, run your machines, collect your products and all that stuff. Don't care too much about your screen or icons. I'm sure whatever will happen will be for the good. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Have a good day. Bye.